Are you looking for the best motherboard for Ryzen 5 7600X? The wait is finally over, and AMD has launched the brand new Ryzen 7000 series of CPUs based on the Zen 4 architecture. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on a Ryzen 5 7600X early, then you will need a competent new motherboard to go along with it. This is because the new Ryzen 7000 series CPUs use an entirely new platform known as AM5. With this platform, AMD is not only changing the socket and chipset, but it is also bringing several new technologies to the table such as DDR5 memory support and PCIe Gen 5. As always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get started. Number 5. MSI Pro X670P Wi-Fi The MSI Pro X670P Wi-Fi is our fifth pick of the day, but is still a very competent motherboard for your Ryzen 5 7600X processor. Sure, it does not have the bells and whistles of the other competitors on this list, but it has a comparatively low price tag which tilts the balance in its favor. MSI has installed a decent 14 plus 2 phase VRAM system on this motherboard, which is good enough for the Ryzen 5 7600X even while overclocked. You can even run more demanding Ryzen 7000 series CPUs on this board at stock settings and the power delivery system will be able to handle it. The VRAM cooling could have been improved a little. However, for a budget-oriented motherboard, the feature set is not bad at all. We would have liked to see a few more USB ports on their rear I.O., but the addition of the USB-C display port is also a unique touch that balances it out. The storage and networking features are what you would expect from a mid-range X670E motherboard. Aesthetically, the MSI Pro X670P is far from the most attractive motherboard on the market. However, it's rather simple and goes quite nicely with any PC build. It does not have a built-in I.O. shield or any RGB lighting for that matter, and that detracts from its aesthetics a little bit. All in all, the MSI Pro X670P Wi-Fi is a strong candidate to be the best budget motherboard for Ryzen 5 7600X. The cost-saving measures implemented by MSI are insignificant in the bigger picture and the overall value is almost too good to pass on. Number 4. Biostar X670E Valkyrie Now for the entry-level choice, there is the Biostar X670E Valkyrie. The motherboard offers minimal options to run your new CPU. It has the necessary DDR5 support for the best speeds for your memory, but also supports the new AMD Expo technology. For the overclocking, it features a 22-phase and 105A power design, so pushing the processor should be kept stable with cleaner power provided. In terms of the new PCIe 5.0 connectivity, it has two X16 slots for expansion cards and two M.2 slots that allow the new fast speed. For more speedy connectivity, it also has 2.5GB LAN and Wi-Fi 6E, and it does add some RGB to lighten up the design on its heatsinks. Number 3. Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master If you're looking for the best of the best, consider the Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master for your Ryzen 5 7600X CPU. It is a premium X670E motherboard that is not only good enough for your Ryzen 5 processor currently, but it will also provide you with a strong platform for your future upgrades should you see fit. The Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master is our pick for the best premium motherboard for Ryzen 5 7600X. Under the massive VRAM heatsinks, we find a 16 plus 2 plus 2 phase power delivery system that is capable of handling any Ryzen 7000 series CPU, even on overclock settings. You can certainly play around with manual overclocking and voltage tuning on your Ryzen 5 7600X, and the board won't even break a sweat. Gigabyte has cooled the VRAM components with two massive heatsinks that are connected through a heat pipe. In the Aorus Master, you can see some exposed aluminum fins just under the I.O. cover, and that gives you an idea of how powerful the cooling system really is. When it comes to features, you really are getting the best of the best for the X670E Aorus Master. One area of complaint can be the lack of 10 gigabit LAN on this particular model, but most gamers and even creative professionals can get by with 2.5 GBE LAN too. You also get Wi-Fi 6E to complete your connectivity suite. Gigabyte has also provided 4 M.2 slots on the board, with 3 of them supporting PCIe Gen 5 speeds. You also get a total of 12 rear USB ports with multiple high-speed USB 3.2 ports as well as a USB-C display output. Safe to say, it is hard to find a feature missing in this motherboard. 
In essence, the only downside of the Gigabyte X670e or its master is its high price tag. However, this motherboard can last longer than your current Ryzen 5 7600X CPU, so you may want to invest in it for the long term. Number 2. MSI MPG X670e Carbon Wi-Fi Another good choice for a Ryzen 5 7600X motherboard is the MSI MPG X670e Carbon Wi-Fi. It also is more focused on the basics, but still with the overclocking potential. It doesn't have the extras on top with the likes of bundled extra features, but still is coming in as DIY friendly. It has 18 plus 2 plus 1 VRAM phases for the promise of great power delivery and stability. It also comes with plenty of cooling across the board to ensure it's kept under wraps and keeping the performance up, including large heat sinks and heat pipes to direct the heat away. For its expansion, it includes two PCIe 5.0 x16 slots, and two of the 4M.2s are also Gen 5 giving them plenty of speed capabilities across the board. That also comes with the connectivity, as it has a 2.5 gigabit LAN port and Wi-Fi 6E. There's also plenty of USB ports, two of which are Type-C. Number 1. ASUS Prime X670e Pro Wi-Fi With the lowest end CPU, you may not want to spend more than it is on the motherboard. So, for the best motherboard for your Ryzen 5 7600X, we have the ASUS Prime X670e Pro Wi-Fi. The Prime series of MOBAs have always been focused on budget and affordability, but the X670e version has upgraded its design and finish and brings a more refined end product to the shelves. As standard, it comes with support for DDR5 RAM for greater speeds, whilst it also has PCIe 5.0 support for at least one X16 slot and one M.2 expansion. So although it may not be fully loaded with greater speeds, it is a more cost-effective solution. For improved connectivity, it also features a fast 2.5 gigabit LAN port along with great Wi-Fi 6E. And for other I.O., it doesn't have the USB 4 Type-C but a possibility for 18 different USB ports front and back. It still has an integrated I.O. shield to improve user experience, which it also has with a Q-latch to more remotely open the X16 slot lock, and also feature a Q-LED for easier diagnostics. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.